Hello everyone, welcome back to the Hormoz Freedom campaign for the AV-8B in DCS World, where we're now up to mission 10, rest cap over Farrow Island. The briefing for this one is that a crew of an F-14 was shot down over Farrow Island and have landed at one side of it. We are there to support the rescue operation. Helicopters are being sent in to pick up the downed pilot and his uh, co-pilot and we are there to keep them safe while the rescue operation goes ahead and escort the helicopters back. This was an odd one of a mission that had a little bit of a break in it as far as I can tell but was still really fun so let's jump in and take a look at a bit of a mixed mission. Now, Farrow Island is the one immediately adjacent to Siri Island, so it's an incredibly short commute across the two. The sun's just coming up as we go, so I am able to get sight of the target, begin scanning the island with the T-Pod. Our orders are to check in with JTAC, and the first two times I attempted this, JTAC just told me to depart, uh, but eventually it does work as intended. While I'm trying to get around to get some eyes on this target, I do get another call. Focus forward. I have a frigate coming towards the island at around 30 knots. Any units in the area? Mark, focus, stand by. I'll have something for you. Now, weirdly, nothing ever happens with that, and I'll get into that later, but for now I just check in. Now, I don't know how to enter manual locations in the Harrier. I will need to look that up, uh, but it's a quite small island, so I was just visually searching, knew where the downed pilots were, what side they're on, so I was searching in around that area. I do send my wingman in just to take care of air defense, since we are warned there are man pads in the area, and then continue hunting. And while number two starts to make bombing runs of the man pads that he spotted, I do locate a little line of troops running towards the target, so I decide those are mine and head in on them. So I only have Dumbfire Cluster Bombs and Dumbfire Iron Bombs and Dumbfire Rockets on this one. So it's going to be CCIP deliveries. I am requested to use Cluster Munitions here, so that's what I select. Dive in on them. And Pickle. Target is not destroyed. Cleared to reattack. 
And do you get really good hit there? That is six uh, infantry taken out. That's that entire group, but that wasn't the correct group. There are many running across the fields here, so time to try again. But as I'm recovering from that, I notice this SAM launch. That unfortunately is my wingman down and he does not recover from this. He is dead and that is it down to just me. Uzi Ford, the boys are popping smoke. Do not engage east of the white smoke. Make north-south passes and keep them away from the LZ. So that I've identified another group here that are moving along, so pick them out. They're gonna be my next targets. So I don't know why JTAC orders me to abort there, but since these are closing in on the friendlies, I go to engage anyway, drop my bomb. Pull up, pull up. Altitude, altitude. Once again, cluster munition right on target, seven enemies destroyed. And this is where this mission gets a bit screwy. From here on, the JTAC disappears. It's no longer an option in the radio menu. I think that's because the JTAC was actually one of these uh, downed pilots, even though from the mission description it was supposed to be on a Kiwa helicopter that was coordinating things. I think for mission purposes it was actually one of those soldiers, and both those soldiers have already gotten themselves killed. There's like 40 plus people charging towards them here, and they start firing from well over a mile out. And they just got clipped already in the time it took me to make two runs. Some of the groups are already within range. And so the scripting of the mission really seems to just break at this point. But I figure I'll just continue my mission. I'll continue hitting these groups of enemies for as long as I can. I'm out of cluster munitions here, so I switch over to the Mark 82 iron bombs and just move in on another group. So I'm flying in, we do get a, another call out of another plot development. Focus, we have a flight of four plus flankers that just took off from the carrier and are heading our way. ROE, do not fire until fired upon. Repeat, do not fire until fired upon. So yeah, flankers on the way, nothing I can really do about those. I don't even have a single sidewinder here, so just concentrate on the ground attack, which is going well. That's another seven enemies, another group taken out completely. Russian flight, Russian flight. This is US Air Force. You are heading toward an active conflict zone. Change your course to 030. Ah, while well, that's going on in the background, I just focus on my tasks. There are plenty more of these little line groups of infantry running across, and so I just line up another one of the targeting pod, use that as a marker, head in for another CCIP 500 pound bomb release. Now, I do take some light return fire there, there's just rifle calibre coming up and hitting me. I am jettisoning flares as I'm getting low to the ground, just in case there are any more sands, but none seem to be fired at me. And there's another group wiped out. And turn around, roll back in, third 500 pound out. And flaring as I pull away, another large group wiped out, including a man pad. The man pad didn't fire at me. I am pretty sure all of the man pads used all of their ammunition firing at my wingman, so I'm pretty safe at this point. Uzi, focus. Flankers are changing course, heading straight to you. Maintain ROE. Uzi, Roger. Be advised. Uzi is Winchester. Uzi is Winchester. Focus. Roger. 
Despite the voice style, I'm very much not Winchester. Still got full rockets and six bombs, full gun, so I just continue. Pull up, pull up. That shot was on a lone rocket infantry that I had identified, so decided to go for rockets rather than wasting an entire bomb on him and get a hit. Unidentified Russian flight. Be advised you are entering an active conflict zone. Change course to 360. This is Flight 101, US Air Force. This is International Airspace. We're conducting training flight. We will follow a training plan. 1112, that's a big load of crap. Uzi 11, keep your cool. We hit the brakes, as you know. I identify some more scattered troops, so start taking them out one at a time. This one with rocket and get the kill. Uzi, focus. They are turning. Uzi confirms. They are heading north. You got your boys back. Good job, Americans. Would have been different with us around. One 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 two. That was weird. They are itching for a fight. Those are some big suckers, and they were loaded to the teeth. That was no training flight. So yeah, despite the voice actors there chewing the scenery, acting a bit worried, uh, I just continue as is. There was no way those flankers were going to engage, because the mission really wasn't set up to allow for that. I would have been a little more worried if the mission had given me some kind of air-to-air -air munition, or at least had made it clear that there was an avenue of escape. As it was, if the flankers engaged, we were instantly dead, so I was just kind of ignoring them. Now, a bit more pressing, I do identify where all of the enemy SAMS uh, troops are. They're scattered on one area of the island, and I decide to go in for them, I fire my first missile out at quite a long range, just trying to keep my distance here because I'm not too sure what's going on. I slew the targeting pod over onto the next guy in this kind of scattered line. The first missile does fall short, I fired at really extreme range, but fire out a second one. And despite the awkward angle that I was making there, that one does hit this guy pretty much smack on. Unfortunately, it was just an AK trooper, not a Ilga trooper, but a kill is a kill. Now, here, instead of doing one rocket per pass, partly because I'm getting a tad little bit bored here more than anything, I decide to fire off several because I can see them quite well. The sun has lifted up. So I fire three rockets in a single pass, and get two kills and one near miss. You may notice I'm being rather cavalier here, I'm going right down to the ground, this would be extremely dangerous, but at this point I'm convinced none of them have any more ammo, they must have really fired everything at my wingman. Which does make me think a better way of doing this mission might be doing a bit of sort of pseudo wild weaseling early on, tell the wingman to hang up high and just go in for a few medium level passes, dump flares, attract all of those uh, man pads, use up their ammo and then it should be safe from there on out. By the way, I decided to go on this poor chappy here. This is definitely an Ilga trooper, but once again he must have been out of ammo. And we can see on the targeting pod there, I uh, get a direct hit to this poor guy's torso. And while scouting around to try and find some more targets, I get eyes on another little column of these seven men that has been repeated across this mission. Two RPG soldiers, rest AK soldiers, charging across the map. They must have been running for quite a while because they're still running here. And so go in, still got two of my bombs, and so decide there's a perfect target for a bomb. And get a really good hit there. All of them wiped out one hit. Then do realise that there are still a couple left over in the man pad group. 
I line up so that two of them are in a line so I can get two rockets away in one pass. Head in, fire the first. Adjust and fire the second. Altitude, altitude. And nice enough, two direct hits, two KIA. I do find a large grouping of enemies seems to be where they've all gathered now. There's no one to actually attack. They're all sort of balled up in one area. So perfect target for my last 500 pound bomb. Head in there and drop that. And another really nice hit, multiple enemies killed. Sorry, miscounted on the uh, voice over here. I do still have another iron bomb, and so head back into that same group and drop one on a, another cluster slightly further away. And once again, really good hit, multiple KIA. Now I'm actually out of bombs, still have a few rockets left, so go in on another of these little clusters. I fire two rockets at this lot. And once again, really good effect on target. And roll back in. Time to fire away my last rocket at another group. And get reasonable hit there. Now, I do still have cannons. One of the unfortunate things with cannons, for some reason it doesn't seem to fire if you're in too much of a nose-down orientation, which doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Uh, there might be a way to disable that. I'll need to look into it through Chuck's guide. But anyway, I go in, do a much more horizontal approach, which does seem to work with actually letting the cannon fire and just start strafing the area where I know that there are enemies. Now I do get hits there, do get a few kills on that pass, but do take quite a lot of return ground fire in doing so. Now I do roll in for one more pass, I decide to fire from much further range now. For some reason this works, when I was doing it earlier it wasn't at this sort of angle, but fire a few out. But despite doing multiple bursts here scattered along, I don't get anything. And at this point, I'm pretty happy with what I've done. I'm effectively Winchester, I just want to head back to base, and so that's what I do. So yeah, quite a long mission. It did absolutely count as me completing it, despite the apparent lack of rescuing, and indeed on the end screen, both of the downed pilots are killed early on in it. The frigate that was mentioned earlier does get destroyed, it's in the kill feed, but I don't get any voice stabs about that, so I think that got broken when the pilots got shot. All in all, our side got one ship uh, killed, two air defence and 81 ground infantry for the loss of one plane, which is my wingman, and one helicopter, which I can't find in the kill feed. It may have crashed, which may have been when JTAC disappeared. My personal kills then were two air defence and 76 uh, infantry, which is a hell of a lot of infantry kills. The discrepancy between those two numbers is some of the enemy did get taken out by my wingman, and some got killed due to friendly fire. There was a lot of exchange of friendly fire at one point. Um, an Iranian group just seemed to wipe each other out. But still, pretty fun mission. So yeah, the scripting kind of broke, um, kind of fell apart. I don't know if that's because a helicopter crashed or if it's because the troops got overrun. Not entirely sure. But either way, it was still a pretty fun mission. Enjoyed it. Good target rich environment even though it wasn't the most challenging environment once those uh, ilgas had run out of ammunition but yeah still a pretty good mission here not my favorite so far but is still pretty good pretty enjoyable would we'll definitely have a go at it again at some point hope you're all still enjoying and otherwise i hope to catch you in the next video until then remember to be kind to yourselves and everyone else cheers